And we're good. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little oh, scuffed. No. <laughs> First oh, time trying the intro. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, hello. I am Rogar, the game master for this uh, lovely game that we're playing, Lords and Ladies. This is our Friday campaign. Uh, these are our wonderful lords and leeches. Say hello, my noble players. Hello, my noble hello, players. Hello, players. players. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is a whole entire new setup for us. This is very different. Very, uh, I like it. Wow, there's already an intimidation check. Oh, that was oh, just yes. the guy. <laughs> Does everyone buttons work? Does everyone have their character things linked? I know you guys are pretty official doing it, so I shouldn't have to worry. I should be. Yeah. 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 Right. Well. I rolled a 10 on intimidation, of course. I'm more oh. persuasive than I am intimidating. All right. Well, uh, I, I guess we should get started. Trying to find some sort of background noise for right now. I was. This isn't a very, very climactic intro. I really hope there's no. No. It's crazy how all of these have some sort of extra noise, and I'm like, oh, that's not going to make any sense. Well, what about this? Nope. Nope. We're not doing haunted. Damn, that's crazy. Okay. Well, we'll just do our normal. Oh, no. No passing by. Bam. Just make it barely noticeable. Oh, who did we yeah. lose? Tomas, damn it. Tomas. He was froze for so long. I didn't even realize he was frozen. Oh there we go. Tomas, are you sure you want to use your camera? <laughs> it's your one time to change. I mean, that was fun for me. I made the whole intro. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even we, notice. You don't need your camera. If it'll save your bandwidth. Are you sure? Don't you want to see me be orange? <laughs> oh, it's less about being orange. orange and more about you knowing what's going on. Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay, I think I'll turn it up. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, we're going to adjust that really quickly. We'll be back in a second, y'all. Yeah, do we have a, a be right back screen? Maybe, maybe not. I was Probably. muted. Jay's do. camera's position is always not Jay's. Tomas's camera's position is always the same. Oh, that's true. True, yeah. true. We're looking at it. <laughs> that's right. Alphabet. <laughs> that was so funny. The like the, the moment you, we went live, my my computer was like, nah. Nah. Nah, but we're just gonna have to put put Oof. something over Tomas's face. This guy for any of you not oh. owners. <laughs> let me let me go get the reactor really quick. I We're going to Flavor Town. <laughs> oh shit. Uh Hold on, I'm gonna freeze for a second. Guy uh, Perry's gonna see the mere minutes of this stream and be like, no, those fuckers can't use my face. <laughs> there we go, authorize. Yeah. Our, our first streams are always a little stuffy. Always and forever. Every <laughs> single time. Um, then I need a browser source. Tom. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Boom. 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 Oh, it turned into Guy Fieri. Hold on. <laughs> I can just change my picture to like Cody or something if you want me to. You can watch it for this stream and we'll figure it out for next time. Make it like it's okay. <laughs> no, I have it here. I have it here. I can just change it real quick, you guys. <laughs> this is 
priceless. Won't be able to Jay just really likes Guy Fieri. Jim is just a large picture of his It's very large. Out some minor things. <laughs> this session, this session might go a little bit longer. <laughs> Three oh, hours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, I fixed that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Double Perfect. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm the funny uh, one. <laughs> oh really? You certainly are the comedian of the group. Not this D twenty smacking in the face every time I laugh. I just noticed. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Everyone good now. Everyone's got their little giggles out. Okay. Okay. No, I guess not. No, I'm okay, fine, I'm fine. Turn your back on. Yeah. So when I actually turn my head, I don't smack myself into a, a D20. All right. Yes, so. <laughs> our our dear adventurers. Lost his background, it's just changing. <laughs> Sorry, it fit better. <laughs> Still not fantasy, but... <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, yes, this is our new campaign. Uh, it takes place in the world of Faerun, uh, in the cont, cont country, country, I guess, the country of Cormier. Uh, yeah, it is the year 1490. The current queen has sat upon the throne for four years. Uh, the current month is reading 18. Well, that's the month and the date, now that I just thought about it. Uh, this day is a month before our dear uh, Zacharias is to be wed. Uh, it is a nice and actually cool like summer day i really hope no one else keeps coming into my room <laughs> i'm gonna lose my shit <laughs> i just look behind them like what's my mom doing <laughs> but yes it is a cool summer's day uh a lot of the windows are opened uh to your guys's uh small castle small humble castle that you guys have um uh, you have a a small city, uh, some would say a hamlet. Uh, there's approximately about two to three hundred people who live here uh, underneath your guys' care. Currently, each of our uh, party members are no longer serving in the military. They kind of just live their best lives. Um, but uh, oh, oh, I'm not much longer. Uh, right now it is approximately about six thirty p.m. As each of you uh, sit down at the dining table, uh, I just keep seeing lost move. I'm gonna have to minimize like, the screens so I don't giggle. So yes, uh, you all are sitting down, uh, getting ready uh, for your meals. Uh, currently, uh, your grandfather, Theo, uh, is 110% not here. He's bedridden and normally eats in his chamber. Because he is uh, just a measly 82 years of age. Uh... But yes, 
as our camp sets upon this dining table in a partially dimly lit room, uh, lit by candlelight. There's a very small fire in the fireplace because of the, the weather. Hey, as I said, it's a cool day. This is a, this is abnormal. <laughs> Normally, it's a little bit hot, but no. Apparently, today... so is the sunlight. Yeah. Unlike God, it's God a my thirty, it's fucking winter <laughs> now, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I'm using the fucking thing from uh, the old Friday campaign. <laughs> I yeah. think currently the month that we're in is technically fall. <laughs> But I'm saying it's summer. <laughs> yes. Um, you all sit down to your table. Uh, your youngest sister is no longer there as she has departed to um, train with the war wizards. Um, currently, it is just the four of you. Uh, Inside the room itself, uh, of course, is Franz, the uh, hand servant to uh, the liege. Seth, of course, we have Rithrin, the uh, personal bodyguard and caretaker, in a sense, to uh, our Lord Kodio. Nope, I take that back, Zachariah. I already forgot because I'm looking at the wrong notes. I have to change that. Bruh. God damn it. Okay, gotta edit that. It's gonna be Finn Lemon Fry all over again. No, no, no. I it's it's because there's something else. And there's some there's some bad stuff that's gonna happen. It's gonna be Finn and Fry all Wait, over. Wait, what? Again. What are you gonna do to me? I'm sorry. He's plotting yeah. your murder and downfall. I hope that's cool. No. Don't worry about it. Maybe we're gonna die first. Hmm? No, I would say we're we'll dying be first. It's all very close to you. Oh, it actually Wait. is gonna be me. Oh no! It, I mean, it's, I already made it very clear who it could possibly be because <laughs> I fucked up their names. I'm looking at other notes that I shouldn't be <laughs> looking at. I don't have anyone's deaths planned. I swear. No, not at all. <laughs> all of our deaths planned. <laughs> You fucking murder hobo. <laughs> I guess Sam in this case, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, to, the young, <laughs> to the young Zachariah. Uh, other than that, uh, this room has just uh, some other just servants in here who are uh, just plating food for you all. Um, there's a young lady who walks around filling each of your glasses. Uh, with, of course, your family's uh, pride and glory, your own wine. But uh, the camera pans over to the eldest brother. Well, child. Sibling. I don't know. Sibling. It throws me for a loop, that one. <laughs> uh, Sky, could you introduce uh, our leash, Seth? As me or as Seth? As Seth. Okay. Ah. Nobility is not for me. I have made an error in my character making. Give me a moment. <laughs> also, I have deleted all of your guys' gold and giving you the proper amount of money that a noble of your status would have. Ooh. Yes, that is meant to last you for at least a week or two. <laughs> ah, I see. Most of you, it's a week. You could. You can just describe him. Yeah, you can well. just describe him normally. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, it do be hard. 
Seth is a human eldritch knight, 25. He's like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, He's tall. He's very aloof, but he works very diligently to preserve his house and their place from behind the scenes. He cares very deeply about it. Also, definitely the type to invite everyone to come eat at the table with them. Yeah. Um, as your food is being plated before you, um, you currently sit at the head of the table, being the next in line. Um, a memory trickles in and we're whisked away to about five years ago. Wow. You are currently in your in your bedroom. Why did I reopen Discord? Why did you God <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna minimize Discord again. <laughs> okay, yes. Um I'll yes. all of the separate window and minimize that so that we can still see all the weird shit we're sending in the chat. No, this is where I was fucking a slow over. But yes, um, yes, this takes place about five years ago. Uh, you're currently sitting in your room. It's about high noon. Uh, there's a knock at your door. Come in. Yes, uh, the door slowly opens. Uh, an elderly man uh, walks in uh, carrying a bunch of books. Uh, most of the books are strapped to, like, his hip. There's one that's attached to his chest. There's one that's on his back. Uh, he's really decked out in a lot of books. Uh, you would know this as Joffrey. Uh, your family's... What's... Not caretaker. Your family's... Warrior? Messenger. Pretty much. Um... He uh, walks and he's like, oh, God, good evening, good evening, my uh, liege. How is everything? Everything as well. Please allow me to assist you with those. Oh, it's just this is the norm for me. Uh, I do I do come bearing news, though. Uh, your father uh, wishes to see you. My Very well. Yes, Thank uh, you. He's currently in the sitting room, uh, enjoying a cup of uh, tea. God damn it, Lost. Just saw what you put in the chat. Yes. Uh, Seth would know uh, that uh, his, well, their father uh, is not really a tea drinker. Uh, when their father starts to drink tea, it's normally... He's extremely stressed, or something bad is going on. Time for me to be the black sheep of the family! You're literally the heir and next in line. Very sick. And I'm also a raging homosexual. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh... As you walk down the halls, of course, all of the servants, as you pass, uh, bow and say, ah, oh, good day, my liege. All of them bid you uh, fair, joyous moments. Uh, at this point, Franz is a bit younger, uh, just the mere age of 17 or 16 at this point. Um, your gentleman in waiting, that is what his title is uh just following you around uh has your sword probably like in his hands because you're a noble you don't technically need to carry a weapon and he thoroughly does enjoy it um as you approach the sitting room uh, it's two wooden ornate doors 
uh, that have uh, just the house name on them. Uh, it kind of crosses over. It's Mintra. And then doors slide open, separating the names. So it's just Min Intra. Uh, you do hear, before you enter, the quiet cursings of your father. Uh, and Fran kind of looks up to you, uh, gives you like a worried smile, and then tries to give you a thumbs up with not trying to drop your your sword. Do you I'm... enter? Yes. Yes. Uh, upon entering the sitting room, uh, your guys' sitting room uh, is normally a place where you sit, uh, but it's typically used like whenever you have guests come over. Um, so there's a lot of couches, tables, uh, books to read. There's a giant fireplace that's currently not lit. Uh, but your father sits in his favorite chair. Uh, it's a rocking chair. Uh, he has a cup of tea sitting next to him and a little candle lit uh, with a small little envelope next to it that's been opened. Uh, oddly enough, there is normally not a chair that sits across from it, but there, for some odd reason, is a chair that sits across from it right now. You wish to see me, Father? I do remember his voice. He's dead. It's the one verse I should remember. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, uh, please sit down. I will sit down across from him. Yes. Uh, your father at this time is in his mid-30s. Uh, just a rugged built guy. Uh, you can tell a fighter by nature. Um kind of locks eyes with you. <sighs> well. There's been an incident in one of the uh, shipments that we sent to the capital. Oh. An issue? Yes, we sent uh, some of our finest wines to the capital to celebrate the prince's uh, birthday. And I, I guess one of the crates were uh, filled with poison, uh, poisoned wine. So currently not not looking the best for our family understandably so, but I can't imagine that. Yeah. I will look into this matter post-haste. Yeah, you don't have to even worry about that. The, uh, they're sending a Lord Warder here to do a third, well, not here, they're going to send it to the Seven Warrior. And I will be accompanying him. Uh, very nice gentleman. Can't remember the name. It started with a T. But yes, so I will be leaving. Uh, of course, you know, you're the next in line. So I need you to. While I'm gone, I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. Uh, I really need you to kind of hop into the shoes. I mean, every uh, person that I've sent to you to possibly be your future wife, I know it's not what you want, but it would just be a, a marriage of convenience. Why not just disavow me then? Name either Zacharias or Codio the next heir. Seth, we, our family has had so, so many 
smudges upon our name. I, we cannot truly go through another one. Wouldn't me existing as myself with my current betrothed be a bigger smudge? Well, no, it's just... You know the world, it's... Cruel and unforgiving, I know. Yes. There's many of other... I, I know a few lords myself who are married to women, but only have male partners on the side. It's, you know... It's a sacrifice. I mean, your mother, bless her soul. Uh, I mean, she was a wonderful woman. I mean, I never remarried after, mostly because the church frowns upon that. But I have had many of suitors. Suitors or men seeking to take your life. It's, it's not as bad as you think. I've spoken to one of the other guys that I know, and he lives perfectly. I mean, in the public's eye, they're married. Uh, I mean, to, to my knowledge, the children that are born aren't even his, but they carry his name. Of course, you know, according to the church and the laws, that they're 100% his children. You know, you know how it is in like the small towns. We don't have to follow them as much as the others. And your grandfather, he's he's deeply worried that you might be tainted and all these other things. He comes from a different time. But at least, you know, maybe have a fake date or something. Uh, just take one of the young lasses and be like, oh, yeah, he's old and he doesn't have much longer of this world. And then technically, once you're the next baronet, I mean, you can do whatever if you wish to unmarry your spouse and married to someone else you could do that i'm sure the church will have a uh, field day with that and another smudge will appear on our name but that's it's fine it's fine this smudge that we have just received is the worst because we are now being labeled as uh red dragons because we have attempted to murder our prince but that wasn't us Yes, that's the only reason why I'm not being like taken away in chains, because they're allowing us to explain ourselves. Sadly, the current king is very close to the House True Silver, and I'm sure they are feeding him all the best rumors against us. You know, but, I care about us that much. We're a small noble family out in the sticks. True silver is... Once they, they... They like to see, in my honest opinion, from everything that I've seen, and he, for a moment, pauses and thinks of uh, something, but doesn't say anything. Uh, they prefer to see, like, smaller houses that can't hold themselves that aren't truly military focused uh, just burned out so I'm sure they've had something to do with this but I will be leaving later today I will do my best to keep in touch and hopefully nothing bad happens. I understand. Well. Enjoy your day. 
safe travels to you, Father. Thank you. And yeah, the scene kind of fades away. Uh, kind of all comes back as now your father is no longer here. Uh, he was murdered. Uh, the culprit was never found. Uh, happened about a year later. Uh, thankfully, Queen Rhaedra uh, ascended the throne after her brother departed the throne uh, and has made life a little bit easier for people. Uh, gay marriages are now allowed. Uh, multiple unions are also accepted into the church. Of course, some of the older houses will all never accept that, but that is a woman. That is not where your house stands. At least be descending the throne, I'm able to freely help as myself. True. The camera slowly pans over to uh, our young lord. Zachariah. Right? That is your name, right? Zacharias. Zacharias. I have to actually open because I have I for some odd reason I, when I wrote all of these, I did not know your character's name, so it just says J. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. Oh. As J sits there. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, each of your actual names are in the spots. <laughs> But yes, um, as uh, Zacharias sits upon this chair, uh, a cup of wine being poured, uh, please describe what Zacharias looks like. Uh, yeah, so um, Zach stands about six feet tall. Uh, he, his skin's kind of pale. Um, he has black hair that goes about to his shoulder with like this white streak that goes across uh, on his right side uh, he's got these hazel eyes and uh he's usually sporting this long black cloak that he loves to have the hood up almost all the time and uh probably right now he's sitting back in his chair like a uh, one one foot's like on it so like the knees propped up and like he has one of his arms resting on it and he's just twirling a uh, a butter knife in one of his hands Interesting, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Zacharias, try and be a little more formal. Fine. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't move or anything. <laughs> uh, you do feel a, a hand uh, laying on the top of your head and slowly pull your hood down uh, as your eyes meet with uh, your personal bodyguard. Get yeah, and. <laughs> Uh, the world kind of fades away for a moment as about three years ago, uh, actually three years ago to this day, um, you did not have a personal bodyguard. Uh, ah, the good times. <laughs> yes. Uh, one morning you awake out of your bed to a knock at your door. Um, uh, hello? Yes, the door opens quickly as an elderly man carrying lots of books stumbles and he's like, Oh, my my lord, oh, good morning. Uh, you're still in bed, okay. Uh, well, uh, we, you must get up, get dressed. You would recognize us as Joffrey. Oh, all right. Why? <clears throat> uh, you have a gift here. Pa papers? No, 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 no. Uh, in the sitting room, in the sitting room. Oh. Uh, your grandfather is sure. actually in there. With your oh, gift. Oh, Gramps, all right. Yep. Yeah, okay. He gets up, he's, he's not dressed at all. 
Uh, young lord, you really, I know you lived in the barrack for a while, but this is not the mm. fitting of the second in line. Uh, but it's so much more comfy sleeping like this. Well, um, I got some bad news for you. You will not be sleeping like that for a while. Well, what? I will go. Have a great day. Oh, no, no, no. You can't leave off on that note. What do you mean? What? Oh, your gift. Your gift will... I think your gift will be a great change for your life. So, post haste, young one. Great. Yeah, he kind of stumbles out, uh, dropping one of the books. And oh, shoot. God damn it. Okay. Got my book. Okay. It closes your door. Okay. Yeah. I have a... <laughs> Zach will get dressed. <laughs> Uh, and head out to the uh, area he was requested to go to. Yes, once again, you uh, see the double doors. This time, the double doors are wide open. Um, your grandfather sits in your father's chair. Uh, the chair's oddly enough turned to facing the doors. Um, sitting about 15 feet on one of the couches uh, are it is is a uh half elven male uh who's accompanied by uh two of your house guards uh your grandfather weakly tries to stand up to like go approach you but falters and sits back down he's 79. oh yikes uh yeah i just i go up to him and just Make sure he's all right. <laughs> yes. Oh God, your grandfather. Oof, I just hope you're ready for this. I have to mentally get into his mindset. <laughs> greetings, greetings. Uh, yes, yes, yes. You look so much like your father. Kind of tussles your hair. You look nothing like your father. Right. Uh, thank, thanks, Gramps. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well... My my good child, my good child, I have the best of news for you. Unlike your brother, you, you will be wedded to a woman in oh. three years. Oh. And my, is she, oh, if I was, if I was younger, I lost his accent. He's a Russian. There we go. Yes, if I was younger. But she's uh she has sent you a, a gift. Uh kind of points over to the half elf man. Uh this this will be your personal guard. Also, uh, caretaker, because you're not really, you know, next in line. You don't really need a gentleman in waiting, but he is your gentleman in, in waiting, because once you move there and you live with her and you take her last name and bring honor to our family. Oh, oh, my, my sweet one. You will make this family better. I'm so proud of you that you are so happy for this. You are just lost for words. Oh, the best day of my life. I could, I could almost die happily. <clears throat> yes. Of course. Yes. And also, I must say, you're, you're, you're marrying up. I got really lucky. Her previous uh, husband uh, died recently, about two weeks ago. And I, I did wasted no time. <laughs> and sold you off. Well, technically, I didn't sell you off because she gave us stuff. Cool. Cool. So now look, now you have a friend. I, I never see you with anyone besides your brother. It's kind of, kind of creepy. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess. To... But then again, I never really leave my room. The only time I see you is when I'm in my room. I don't like strangers in my room. I'm aware, yeah. Just but don't maybe me. you do have friends. Maybe you don't. I don't think so. I 
I I have plenty. Okay, name one. I... You took too long. So... <laughs> Ralph? Did you just say Ralph? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I... Okay, cool. I'm so happy for you. Well, Ralph is going to have to forget you, though. You are now moving up in the world. You will be a count in three years. I mean, you'll be a higher position than your, your elder brother. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Really selling you up. You are sadly that you're losing our name, but I mean, everyone will remember the day when a venture married into a Miss Wind. Yeah, yep, that, that'll be very true, yes. <laughs> is, is the card necessary, though? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know you. I've Joffrey has told me that you like to sneak out. Well, I cannot it... have this our soon to be count sneaking out. I don't. What? No. Are you sure? Are you uh, saying Joffrey is lying? Our trusted aide to our family for the past 57 years. His father before that, his father before that. Okay, may maybe once in a while. You go to taverns, he says? You go to taverns? Ooh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't oh, know. Uh, you, are, you are the noble of this house. You cannot do this. Yeah, but it's so much fun. No, I know, I know. I was I remember when I was a young a young young boy. And I would go out and be like, Oh yes, I'm big, big shit. And all of the the women would go, Ah, Dio, you are so beautiful. You bring honor to your house. But no, you don't do that. They're married now. Well, you're wedded. Your honor bound. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. This, this <clears throat> is your... I almost said slave. That's not the word. We don't use that anymore. This is your gentleman in waiting. So go. Go talk to him. Yeah. Mine. It's okay. a little weird that he is part elf. But I know times are different now. Times are different. Yes, yes, they're, they're different. Yes, the new queen is... Oof. She's changing so much. It's For a timer like me, it's, it's too much. It's too much at once. I, I, I understand, Gramps. They're there. Uh, two years ago, our country was so great. I mean, our country is still great. One of the right, I'm gonna go talk all. to him now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a great one. Yeah, my great grandson. Come here, come here before you go away. Uh, give give me a hug. Of course. <laughs> give give Gramps a big hug. Very light though. <laughs> it's because I don't want to crush him. <laughs> yes. Uh as you begin to walk towards uh this half elf, um, the two other guards kind of break away and they help your grand they're up and uh kind of escort him back to his room <laughs> uh but that's half off uh the moment he gets within about six feet uh stands up and then quickly like takes the knee uh he's decked out in just uh commoner's clothes uh you you don't really need to do that. He can he can stand. It's yeah, cool. uh, he stands. Uh, greetings, uh, my lord. I am Rithrin. I am here to ensure your safety until the day that you are to be wedded, and then even more after. Cool. Uh, that's that's great. Uh, thanks. Uh, so so great to meet you. I'll extend a hand up for a handshake. 
Uh, he looks shocked. Uh, what? What are you doing? Well, you see, it's a it's a handshake. You you extend your hand out, and then we clasp and then shake them. It it's a greeting. My my lord, I am, but only a, a humble servant. I. Uh, oh my gosh. Just just handshake with me, please. Okay. Kind of. I don't. I don't want to deal with this for three years. It extends a hand and firmly grasps yours. There you go. <laughs> See, was that so bad? No, but my my lord, I must point out your clothes are wrinkled. Uh, yeah, I mean, I picked them off of the floor this morning. The f oh, fuck. Well, uh, I guess my, my work is laid out for me to ensure that you'll be the perfect groom upon your day. Great. That's that's great. Oh boy, I'm so looking forward to this. <clears throat> Maybe we should have listened to our big sibling growing up, huh? Huh? But yeah, uh the memory kind of fades away as you are blocked eyes with your your humble servant who is still strict, but uh a little bit less strict now. Allows you a little bit more uh, freedoms. Uh, the next cup of wine that we see being filled is that of uh, the cousin of the family, dear Christoph. Um, you see a slightly, I don't remember your guys' height, but kind of short human um with dark hair like very gray eyes that almost look like like they're like don't see anything at all um with almond skin um this individual is wearing um a green uh set tunic set with uh light tan pants and is uh has a cane lean, leaning up against the chair and they're just sipping wine and kind of peering over it and watching everyone with a slight smile on their face yes that's my slight smile remind you of a particular night long, long, long ago, about seven years ago, as we fade away, uh, we head to an entirely different looking place. Uh, we are in a very new occupied territory of Cormier after they claimed it, known as Westgate, uh, deep, 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 deep down in the south. Uh, currently, our very young Kristoff <laughs> sits at a table uh, with his mother and father. Uh, a few of the hand servants are bringing around food. Your father is currently fumbling through papers every once in a while, making a scuff, and then your mother reaches out a hand and places it on his. Uh, but... At one point, your father kind of looks up and he's like, he kind of grabs the bridge of his nose and places his shoulder, his elbow onto the table. He's like, these civilians, I swear. Another attack against our people. When, I mean, it's, I understand it's been a few months, but is it really that bad? I mean, are we running this town horribly? Uh, his wife uh, extends her hand and she's just like, My love, no. It's... 
very hard to have changed like this. I mean, you were once a free territory, now you are occupied. It'll take time. As long as the townspeople are not killing people, I mean, there's... Yes, it sucks that our troops are getting injured, but... That's what they're there for. In a sense. He kind of sits back into his chair and looks at you, smiles. Then looks back to his loving wife. He's like, I just... It just doesn't even make any sense that... Our other children, I mean, they do their best to get along with the townsfolk. I mean, Edwin, uh, bless his heart, I mean, is supposed to be leaving the troops and he's been caught many of times just having drinks with the townsfolk and don't even get me started on Maribel. This new endeavor she has going on of being a songstress, we just... It's not the best time, it's just... Our house is small. We sadly need to grow and... I just kind of... Feel as if I failed. Kind of looks back over to, uh, to you. And he's like, well, I mean... I always have Kristoff and... Kind of puts his hand on your, uh... Like mother's stomach, he's like, and hopefully another one soon. Well, blessings of Lavender, I guess. Am I right? Your mother kind of chuckles and she's like, yes, yes, yes. Blessings of Lavender. Uh, blessings of Lavender. Uh, they both give you a quite a, a quaint smile. Um, a strange man enters the room, uh, wearing servant's clothes, uh, carrying a, like, platter, um, and places it down. Uh, kind of looks over to the lord and the lady, gives them a smile as he lifts the platter wait not the platter the the thing that goes over the platter the, the cover <laughs> the cover yes uh lifts the cover up uh revealing the head of your brother <gasps> uh your father of course quickly jumps out of his seat uh goes to draw his sword but realize this is dinner time he did not bring his sword uh, a bunch of bickering happens as your mother quickly grabs the hold of you and pulls back. Uh, your father grabs one of the kitchen knives that are on the counter, on the table, as your mother begins to lead you quickly out of the, um, the dining room. Mom, what happened? Uh, please, no, no, we must go, we must go, come. Um, she begins to escort you. Uh, she's not even sure where she's going. You've only have lived inside this keep for about two months. Most of the rooms are strange. Uh, but she does know what her room is. And you've been to her room. Uh, you can see that she's like... Her mind is thinking of so many things. Uh, she's like clutching her stomach and has one arm around you. And those dogs bark a lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's dogs, <laughs> dogs barking in the keep. <laughs> yeah, the dogs are going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, as she begins leading you down the hall, uh, turning a corner is several armed men uh, who bear a crest uh, that you don't recognize at this point. Uh, but your mother recognizes as her eyes widen. Uh, she halts, moving you behind her. Uh, you feel a soft wind kind of pass both of you. Uh, 
as your mother whispers some words underneath her breath, uh, as a wall of wind uh, begins to fill this hall, protecting both of you as these armed men fire their crossbows and due to your mother's skilled expertise in the art of magic, uh, are quickly parried away. As she begins to take you back down the hall, turning around, she's like, what was everything that? will be fine. It's no nothing, nothing. It's just a little trick. Our family is gifted and your father does not need to know this. Okay. Uh, she kind of hurries you down, um, unsure of where to go. Uh, you see, as maybe a light goes off in her head, uh, as she begins taking you like, towards like the main entrance. Uh, currently, uh, your eldest sister, Maribel, uh, does not live at home. She's kind of off doing her own thing. She has a little duplex uh, inside the town. <laughs> Uh, and your mother begins taking you that way. Uh, when suddenly, um, through the air, three arrows uh, hit her in the back. Uh, you feel... Uh, yeah, yeah, you feel her hand kind of grippens onto you, and she's like, I'm fine, I'm fine, we must keep going. You know where your sister lives, right? Yeah. Yeah. Run. But but what about you? I will I'll be fine. I'll do the little trick again. Oh. Uh as she kind of turns away from you, extending a hand as uh a strong gust of wind this time kind of expels forward from her. I begin running. She, yeah, she looks back. Uh a little tear streams down the side of her face as she knows that she probably will not see you again. Um, as you're running through the town, uh, you see as there are corpses littered everywhere. Uh, purple dragons have been slain in the streets. A lot of the people that are doing this appear just to be civilians. Um, as you're approaching your older sister's house, uh, you see it set ablaze. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, like, run probably down the street a little bit, like, ca calling out to my sister. Yeah, um, as you do this, uh, a hand quickly comes over your mouth and lifts you up and pulls you into the shadows. I try to bite it. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking oh, kid. Okay. Uh, sets you down. Um... A man wearing uh, loose-fitting clothes, uh, decorated in different shades of blue, kind of shakes his hand as he sets you down. He's like, okay, that's not a bite. That hurts. Um, hi. Put up my fist to box him. Oh, it's quite adorable, young lord. Where's my sister? We, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I... As soon as I noticed the town was a little different, I ran to go and help. Where's your Where's your parents, by the way? Dad is at the at the keep fighting off someone, and Mom is using some sort of trick to stop them chasing. Uh, he kind of thinks, and he's like. Okay, well, I'm gonna take you to my ship. What? You kidnapped am... me? No, I am I a blue dragon. Throw I am... a punch. Ow. Hey, you are a lord. <laughs> I am a commander. I am not going to hit you. No, I am going to take you to my ship. I will go back and see if I can find your parents after. <sighs> I am a blue dragon. The naval fleet. Okay. I'll come with you. Okay, and yeah, uh, he begins to escort you off uh, safely and through the shadow, it almost as if no one even sees you. People run by, uh, their torches lit, uh, but the shadows kind of just surround both of you, uh, protecting you. 
through the night. Uh, you reach the docks. He puts you on the ship. He's like, okay, we'll head down below. Uh, look for my son. Uh, I had to look up his son's name because I just forgot it. <laughs> what was the son's name? Renard. Yes, look for Renard. Uh, just ask anyone. Uh, they're, they, everyone knows me. Okay, I'm going to go back. The crew will protect you. Do not worry. Uh, and you see him uh, begin dashing towards... Uh, the key. Can I see the keep from here? You do. It is a set ablaze right now. I'm just gonna start crying. Yeah. Um. A few seconds later, uh, a hand lays upon your shoulder. Uh, the hand doesn't feel like a very big hand. It feels actually like a smaller hand. Uh, as you look over, a uh, young boy. Uh maybe a few years older than you uh kind of looks at you uh he's wearing a little blue tunic uh with a belt tied around uh kind of looks like he's trying to be a knight uh as he's got a little stick sword at his hip he's like that's so fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> ah greetings young child i am here to save you are you Renard? Oh, that's... Are you a magician? You know my name? Your, your dad said to find you. Oh, okay. Uh, well, why, why are you crying? Because he like, begins to like, wipe away your tears. Very confused on what's going on. He's not very aware of the world. <laughs> I'm gonna jump into a hug. Him. Oh. The... the the keep is on fire, and my parents are fighting people. Uh, Renard kind of turns his little head and looks up, and he's like, Oh, man. That's... Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. Um, now that you're kind of a little bit closer, and since you're essentially hugging, uh, you do just notice that his ears uh, are kind of pierced at the moment for a, a young teen, probably. He's probably in his teens. Okay. Uh, you know, it's a little different, uh, but his ears are pointed. Uh, he looks like he has some sort of elven descent. Uh, yeah, just hugging and crying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Secondary. As he, <laughs> as he begins to like escort you down below, uh, he begins taking to a room. Uh, and he does his best to, like, ease your mind, like, taking out some of his little building blocks from when he was a lot younger. Uh, doesn't really have a lot in here because it's a ship. Uh -huh. He's you know, the son of a sailor and doesn't have a lot of toys. <laughs> but he kind of, like, shows off his sword, uh, does his best to, like, alleviate your mind. And... Maybe 20 minutes later, you begin to feel the boat set off. And the world kind of fades back. You would remember Cedric, the man who saved you. Uh, could not find your parents or your elder sister. Uh, but you would learn later on that House True Silver... And House uh, Beleth, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, House Beleth is a an original uh, Westgate house. They're not a Cormirian house, but uh, they were the ones. Well, take that back. House Beleth was the one who led the revolt. House True Silver saw to your family being. Uh, removed as nobles due to your your failure at uh holding newfound land for the country uh, and the previous king was not a nice king but you are now here with your new family 
Uh, I'm gonna chug the rest of my wine and put it down to be refilled. Yes, it is quickly refilled as finally our camera pans over to the last one. The youngest, the baby. Dear old Cordio. Go and introduce yourself. Okay. I imagine while waiting to be served, Cody was reading a, a little book, something like that could, he could hold with just one hand. And from time to time, he, you know, he passes a page and sometimes he just forgets to do it with his hands. And the page would just like slightly levitate a little as it flips, a little discreet. And... What does he look like? He basically looks as if Sakurai used to take a shower. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, but it is funny to see them so close together. They do look like as a reflection of each other. The main difference being, of course, their clothing and the hair. But he's also pale like his brother. Same facial features, same hazel eyes, with a little white strand on his hair. Though it is much shorter, um, it looks, you know, like he actually brushed it this morning. Another difference between the two of them. And he wears kind of this formal clothing, a lot of purple, gray, and golden. He just looks, everything looks like very, you know, the con like the opposite of his brother. And he didn't take this out of the floor. He probably pressed it before putting it on just to make sure he looked as dignified as possible. And he definitely, yeah, he looks the role of a, of a lord at least right now, right here with his family. And he probably has his staff just close by. You know, he doesn't really go anywhere without it. He probably has it behind him on the dining room wall, leaning against it. And yeah, he, as soon as he sees his cup being filled, he's gonna kind of close his book and put it in his pocket as he gets ready for dinner with his family. Yes. Uh, as you get ready, the world fades. Uh, it's actually not too long ago. Uh, about four or five months ago. Um, you sit in... A library. Uh, your younger sister is currently with you. Uh, just kind of looking over your shoulder. Uh, this is a month before she is going to be set out to go and uh, serve her time as she's 16. And uh, yeah, join the military when you're old enough to join the military. Hoorah! Um, she's looking fondly over your shoulder at your book. Uh, she has, uh, show adept magic at a young age, uh, thus making her, like you, um, a war wizard of the First Order, so she's most likely or not destined to be, like, a great sorceress. Uh, she kind of looks over your shoulder and she's like, uh, uh, what's that word? As she points to like some really big word, uh, you being the intellect that you are, uh, explain it to her. Um, but um, an elderly gentleman approaches you, one that you do not know. <laughs> uh, he's like, ah, oh, I greetings, my lord. I, I hate to inform you, but the library's. It closed about 15 minutes ago. And Cody will look up from what he's reading and look at this man and give him kind of a small nod. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I got a little distracted in my reading. I'll leave her immediately. Okay, perfect. Um, you know, as... Go ahead. Oh. Go on. I right, would say, so yeah, as you begin to pack up, um, you watch as this old man begins to extinguish some of the lights, uh, the candle lights that are lit in here. Um, 
it is actually dark outside. Um, your younger sister uh, kind of sticks very close to you. Uh, thankfully enough, uh, there's six or seven blades outside. Those are the term for, like, foot soldiers. Oh, my God. Why did I reopen this to watch you sip? <laughs> Um, yes, uh, little foot soldiers as they kind of nod. Uh, and they begin to escort you both home. Um, during the carriage ride, uh, your sister looks to you and she's like, um, was, was it hard? Like, the training? Hmm. Totally will kind of look at her and give him a small smile and he's gonna answer it was that we're mintras and it isn't anything we can't handle she kind of nods um as she's like nodding a little moat of like pure light appears next to her head as she begins like to like shoo it away, like to hide it. Just like I can't I it's a little strange that magic just kind of happens like that around me. <laughs> I know it can be overwhelming at first, but with the right training you're gonna learn to control it. And soon you become a tool at your disposal at your disposal, but a hindrance to your daily life. Okay. I, I guess I'm just nervous because Grandpa keeps telling me stories of countless witches being burned at the stake for practicing witchcraft, and I, I, I'm a little confused. Am I? Is he sending me away to get killed? No, no, Grandpa. He was raised a different it time. And okay. there's a lot of this new world he doesn't understand. So whenever he says anything scary, it's better to just entertain him, and, you know, not along, but also know that he's most likely wrong. Although I'll, I hope you'll keep that I told you that between us. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, lot, well, two days ago, he told me that I sold my soul to the devils. Because I was, I accidentally uh, made like a little tiny gust of wind, and I was like, oh. He is like, ah, why are you casting that demonic magic around me? And blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, oh, no. So who's yeah. supposed to be murdering Grandpa later? That was a really good impression, but uh, let me tell you. A little story of my own. You see this stuff that I wield? And he's gonna point to his, you know, dragon claw stuff. It is called Thunder of Dragons. It used to belong to our great grandmother. Actually, she used the same stuff to slay a dragon to protect our home. She brought our family great pride with her powers and was and is still remembered as a hero because of her magic. But everybody will be accepting or will understand. They know you. You have a good heart. And that means you'll do good things with your magic. You'll make our family proud, just like our grandmother did. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you guys are traveling, uh, the carriage kind of has like a little bump, uh, and then kind of tilts over as it kind of falls as one of the wheels popped off. Uh, quickly, uh, some of the blades rush over and like, ah, oh, uh, you two okay, my lord and lady? Yes, everything's okay. What happened outside? Uh, we, there was a small pothole we did not see, and one of the wheels were damaged, uh, we should be able to fix it in a barely an hour. Okay, then. Thank you. Okay. 
yeah. Um, as you sit in the wilderness, as you guys are heading back to your town, because you're actually in a different town, um, your sister uh, just begins like twiddling her thumbs. Uh, about 30 minutes pass, and the young man who approached you um, kind of pops his head back, and he's like, oh, well, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit harder than we thought. We thought the spare wheel was <laughs> going to be there, and it wasn't for some reason. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and we're going to have to, like, chop down a tree really quickly, and then actually craft a, a wheel so we i guess we're gonna be spending the night here okay then i guess we better make ourselves comfortable he's gonna say to his little sister with a smile yeah um she kind of looks to you uh, a bit nervous as she kind of like scoots closer and she's like Sometimes when I focus really hard, um, I can make things that are broken uh, not broken. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, he understands. He's gonna smile and be like, oh. well, that would be quite useful right now. Would you be willing to give it a try? Uh. She looks a little nervous, uh, but your words and your stories kind of inspire her. And she kind of like nods her head vigorously. She's like, yeah, I'll, I can do it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, but... then, and um, Cody will kind of bring his head outside. The pieces of the broken wheel, can you please bring them to us? A few of the other swords look uh, a little, I mean, not swords, blades look a little puzzled, but uh, the one who's been talking to you uh, nods his head and, like, gathers the pieces. Uh, oddly enough, it's broken in, like, one little spot uh, from, like, just a stroke of hitting, like, the pothole. And kind of, like, he's like, uh, uh, don't think it's going to fit through the doors. He's like, he's trying, like, shoving it. He's like, kind of, like, tilts it in silence. He's like, oh. I got it halfway in. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, it's uh, okay. Just hold it right no, okay. there. Okay. Yeah. And, and Cody's gonna look at the little broken piece and at his sister and say, just focus. Focus your energy and forget everyone else. Let's hear right now with you. Your power. And this wheel. I know you can do it. She kind of nods, uh, places her hands on, like, the broken piece. Um, closes her eyes. Uh, just begins muttering words underneath her breath that they have no clue. Like, you can tell that these are not the words you would use for, like, this type of incantation. She's just muttering words to make it seem like she knows what she's doing. Uh, but slowly, uh, a faint, uh... I would have to call... It looks like a faint red light, the shade of, like, a red wine, uh, extends from her hands as you watch as, like, the wood begins to splinter back together. Um, the blade who's holding it, uh, kind of just turns his head like he's like, I don't see anything. <laughs> and yeah, about a minute later, <laughs> uh, the wool, the wood, the wheel is fully repaired. And she kind of looks back to you, uh, just smiling as bright as she can. She's like, oh, I, I did it. You were right. I just had to focus and say those magical words. Quite a powerful incantation. 
Thanks. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to cast spells like you. Oh, I'm sure you'll be much better than me very soon. And I'm very confused. You know. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Bitch? And yeah, he'll turn to the soldier and he'll say, Well, it seems the young lady here have, has saved the day. Uh, he kind of turns his head back. He's like, uh, bows deep and he's like, Thank you, my lady. Uh, and yeah, he doesn't really say anything. Um, while he is a purple dragon, uh, he does bear the crest of your house, so you you get the feeling he won't ever say anything. This will be like a secret he keeps. I mean, aren't war like she's going to war with her school she's, like, in a week? Isn't yeah, that... yeah, yeah. She's going, but some people are just like, mm. oh some yeah, but I mean, like, still... like you know, she's gonna go serve and all of that. They wouldn't just hang her, right? Like that isn't the bad. Like I know it isn't like well seen and it's worth not doing in public, but it's not like they're actually burning witches, right? Um. To your knowledge, uh, a witch hasn't been burned in the past four years. Uh, ever since Rhaedra kind of ascended the throne, she's brought a lot of change. Um, most wizards, the moment they learned magic, they were kind of conscripted and forced to go to the Mage Tower where they would live for the rest of their life. Like, it was kind of a, you couldn't leave the War Wizards. You were a honorary member for the rest of your life. Uh, but with Rita, she's bought change. Um, there is still laws that state you should not cast magic. But they have changed in the past few years. Um, it's pretty much any magic that would bring harm, manipulation, uh, anything that's it would affect another person. Uh, it's kind of a big no-no. Or like spells to alter yourself or alter items like distort value. Uh, those yeah, are mending should be fine, right? Like, yeah, you uh, being a war wizard or a previous war wizard as you've left by now, um, you would know that mending would not get hurt. It might get, like, some of, like, the older people might give, like, strange looks at her. They might, of course, mutter things underneath their breath. But thankfully, most of the uh, soldiers that are currently with you uh, are much of the younger generation. Uh... These, like, I should say most of the soldiers that are with you are between the ages of, like, 16. The oldest one that, like, turned his head is probably, like, in his 20s. Like, maybe 25 or 26. Okay. Yeah. It's probably, this is probably, like, their version of, like, their first real, like, let's go out and do a mission. <laughs> but, yeah, um, he kind of just turns his head and kind of just nods. Uh, they begin assembling back the wheel. And yeah, you guys begin heading off. Uh, your sister just ever so happy sitting next to you. Yep. And, and this... Claudio will... Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, for the go ahead. The journey... yeah, for the rest of the journey, Claudio will kind of like take out a book and read it out loud for her. And it's like, you know, magic fears and stuff like that that she probably doesn't understand yet. But it's like, oh, You'll be learning all of this in War Wizard School. I'm just giving you a little sneak peek. And yeah, he's just gonna read to her for the rest of the journey. Uh, the world kind of fades back as uh, now uh, a few servants come out uh, bringing like the main dishes. Uh, there's like a roasted pig and pheasant there's a lot of uh food it's it's a lot but you are you all are a small noble house but a very wealthy noble house it's part of the reason why most people haven't 
tried to remove your guys' names because of the fact that Mintra's, you know, known for their wineries. They're not known for soldiers. You guys kind of serve like your bare minimum and then peace out. But yeah, the food looks delectable. Everyone would know this food was made by uh, Geneva? Geneva? Jenny? I forgot her name, honestly. It starts with the letter G. I do remember that. G-E-B-A. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's how you spell it. Is it Jiva? Jiva. Jiva oh, yeah, yes. Jiva. Oh, Jiva blood feather. What the fuck? The last name is that. <laughs> I only made it. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> She's yeah, your your house personal chef. Okay. Um, of course, um, a few of us soldiers do enter the rooms, uh, and they hold like their little rings above each of like the food. Since the wine is from y'all, they normally don't check the wine for poison, but they still will check all of your food. Of course, none of it's poisoned. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> yes, no, no poison. Uh, thankfully enough, the the death rates from poisoning have drastically dropped within the last four years, as most people realize by now. It's not really everyone that has like personal guards probably have a purple dragon ring that detects poison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yes, uh, you all sit at your table, uh, and yeah, what do you guys talk about as it's in the afternoon and you've had a productive day for some of you? Mm -hmm. Damn, you guys are really good at family talks. <laughs> oh, we're so Could good you? at them. Cody will kind of look at his brother and not say anything out loud, but into his mind, he'll say, I'm awake before the big day. Excited? Yeah, uh, respond telepathically. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, don't really know if excited is the right word, but, uh, I mean, I don't, I haven't met her. I, I don't, I haven't even met her, so, well, it's been knowledge for three years and, I mean, you know, Ren Ren's been on my back for so long. Oh, God. Commit, man. This is going to look so good on you, brother. Uh, yeah. Should I, should I dress for a wedding or a funeral? <laughs> dress for the wedding. It's I'm not dying. Sure, Yet. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I guess they just see like Kaorio and just kind of smirking as he is for not like the other two, like everybody else on the table, just see them smirk for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at that right, moment. You yes, yes, yes. Uh, you do, uh, Zach, you do feel a hand uh, once again, grace your shoulder. <laughs> Lord, you shouldn't. Hmm? Uh, it's it's so obvious now. As his eyes will kind of uh glance over to Kodio, uh, giving you a quiet smile. I mean, a quaint. I don't know why I keep saying quiet. <laughs> <laughs> a quiet <laughs> a smile. Very quiet smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, giving you a quaint smile uh, with a little wave. I don't think it's that obvious. <laughs> I've okay, literally well, we spent the last three years with you. Every waking moment. And yeah, exactly. Three not waking years. <laughs> it's not <laughs> obvious at a glance. Yes, but it is not befitting of a soon-to-be count. <sighs> it's okay, Refrain. My brother here was just telling me how excited he is for his wedding. Hmm. Truly, I cannot wait. 
Yeah. Feels so honored to finally get to meet his bride. I know, so right? Deeply sorry that you have not had the opportunity. Yeah. She's very busy. No, no, I, I understand. Just, I don't know. You'd think in three years' time, at least one meeting would have happened, but. <clears throat> That's not the way arranged marriages work, and you know it. Can doesn't the anticipation make it better? Well, he's trying not to laugh, but he does. <laughs> I mean, it does kind of make it exciting. <laughs> I mean, I've heard plenty about it from Rin Rin, but like, oh, to actually meet her. It, yeah, but I am excited. When is she go over his shoulder. due to arrive? Hmm? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I when is she due to arrive? Uh, are we? Sacrifice, you have no idea. <laughs> That's a excellent question. <laughs> I, I have no clue. Upon saying that, uh, Stumbling out of uh, the doorway, uh, carrying a whole bunch of books, of course, uh, is the Elder uh, Joffrey. He's like, oh, uh, uh, greetings, 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 greetings. Oh, oh. Joffrey, please allow me to assist you. Oh, it is quite fine. This is my, my trial and tribulation for pledging my soul to uh, the great Lord above. Uh, each of you would know that... Uh, Joffrey is a warlock, uh, not of Lathander, but there is other people in the room who are not members of the house. Mm -hmm. So uh, he is now of Lathander, uh, but he's currently <laughs> pledged to your health patron. I will give a little nod. Well, I bring great news. Yes. Yes, uh, he begins flipping through uh, these books uh, that just have, like, countless writings, and he's like, okay, today, uh, today. Okay, um, all right. The house, you guys, are to report to Susail, the capital, uh, within a week. Uh, it, it appears that the queen herself is going to, uh, I guess, perform the ceremony for this wedding. <laughs> oh, the queen herself. How honorable. But why for such a small house as ours? Well, I... Like your grandfather has stated before, our young lord will be moving up in the world, uh, becoming a count. So, uh, only the best for nobility especially since the queen is very close to uh countess uh miss win so, i mean there i mean she is the queen's lady of marsember so she holds a powerful seat next to the queen literally next to the queen they're literally like a few hours apart isn't that great young lord yeah, fantastic. Yes. Wonderful I'm news. Sure, sure you will be visiting the Queen so much. It's an honor. Such an honor, yes. So blessed, my brother. <laughs> but more good news. Uh, it also appears that the Queen, uh, even though she has not taken a spouse, uh, has produced an heir. So I guess during at the same time, well, right before your guys' wedding, the naming of the heir will be revealed. So that's good. Uh, also, more good news. It appears that um, our uh, fine young lord over here, 
Christophe? Mm -hmm. We actually have a date now. We have a date for your uh, your betrothment. Wonderful. Yes, uh, your your grandfather. Well, not your their grandfather uh, has said it to, to be three days after uh, the other young lord. Betrothal, just correction. Betrothal, not wedding. Like engagement, no, no, no. not this... wedding. Right? No, no, you're getting married in three huh. days after. Yes, I know you've been betrothed not for a very long oh. time, but... I see grandfather I... is ever as eager to Did sire you... me out. Uh... Well, I have not prepared, so I will need to do that. <clears throat> And to my knowledge, I mean, I think you are also marrying up, but, you know, your house being, uh, <clears throat> it will bring a great honor upon the house of Mentra. Yes, it will. Yes. Joffrey, You'll... please. Yes. That is enough. He will be an earl. Is a really moving up, my my lord, my liege. Uh, any any plans for you? Everyone's getting married. Gordia, any any men or women on uh, the list? I should, we can just have the whole family get married in a week. Anyone? <laughs> I can write it right now and send it to the queen. Gordia oh, just looking at him. <laughs> Like, just staring at him right into his eyes as he continues speaking. <laughs> Cody will hear in his head, Yeah, any plans? <laughs> Got anyone? <laughs> I'm just gonna write, It's a no for Cody right now. <laughs> Maybe in a month or two. I mean, Joffrey, if you're suggesting something, I must say it's quite inappropriate. <laughs> Pops on my wine. An appropriate <laughs> how? This thing between us, it can never be. Oh, oh my, my lord, you are quite the jest. I myself am quite too old. I am old enough to be a grandfather. I do not think that would. And I'm a commoner at best, so that would bring a. As your father used to say, a smudge upon this family that this we will never recover from. <laughs> Bless his soul. And what about you, dear lord cousin? Uh, I'm afraid that my marriage would be a little more than lip service. I mean, you can. Man, the world's different now. My liege, it's mm, the I'm ball is. Aware, but I still rolling. would not be able to sire an heir, would I not? Mm, well, <laughs> thankfully enough, we have the uh, young Cody to uh, fill those shoes. As long as. I can. Cody just oh. staring at him as he's saying this. <laughs> That pattern. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. <laughs> yes, brother, There's... don't worry. I'll spread my seed for the family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is quite, you know, the, the second eldest is going to have a name change, so wouldn't really be a mentor anymore. That will always be remembered. Okay. Any more good news to the world? Well, uh, there actually is one more piece of good news. <gasps> oh boy! Can't wait. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, your youngest sister uh, will be attending uh, the wedding and the ceremonies. Uh, <gasps> turns out uh, she's currently serving under. Uh, the Countess. Huh. 
Those are good news. All the other good news. Oh. Well, I, uh, look, he kind of flips through his little book. Uh, oh, there was, my mistake, there was a small fire uh, in the the fifth warehouse. Oh, looks like it was all covered through the, uh, what would they call it? I don't want to say insurance. <laughs> <laughs> insurance. It was, it was the, 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 the yeah. royal, uh, uh, <laughs> the, the royal house, guarantee. House <laughs> yes, the royal guarantee <laughs> that you guys acquired upon it uh, did cover it all. <laughs> Only uh, 3% of the wine was lost there, but it was a very small warehouse. Nothing to worry about, of course. That's still 3% of our profit that we lost. I will look into the cause of it post haste and make sure that we take measures that these don't happen again. Uh, yes, your father would be so proud. Uh, your grandfather's even more proud. He sends his best regards. My grandfather wishes I were dead. Let's not mince words. He just begins writing in his book. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna... Let go ahead and go. Yeah, he just slowly he turns away and walks out. He's like, that, that was awkward. Uh, but then he stumbles back in. Oh, yes, my mistake. One last thing. Uh, it seems the bridge uh, that you would normally take to get to Seussdale uh, is currently under reconstruction. So you'll actually have to travel by river. Oh, wonderful. Hmm. Yes. Fortunate, but no matter. Uh, no anyone in particular? Bodies. A toast on the river. How, how many bodies are tossed into the river? What? What was that? Statistics say that at least 15 bodies a year are tossed into the river. Yeah, that's I, true. I truly hope not. Oh my goodness, especially because, you know, it's a very popular river that people go down. It's a lot of bodies. Yeah. Oh, oh. Like North America. Yes. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll book, uh, anyone, know anybody I could book. If not, I'll just pick a random blue dragon to escort you. I might have someone you can ask for. Oh, yes, yes. Can I get that name? I don't know where they're at, but my Captain Cedric. Captain Cedric. Okay. Oh, well, I will uh, have an answer by tomorrow, of course. I will get on this right away. Each of you have a great night and enjoy your meals. You as well, Joffrey. Yes. Sco <laughs> Scurry off. He drops another book. God, goodness gracious. You really need <laughs> Takes a it back. Cluster. I have four of them on me. Why? Do <laughs> I don't know why I carry seven books on me. Yeah. Once again, I'm you well all sit done. upon the room. So many good news. I propose a toast to marriage. <laughs> here, here. Blink. What's up, class? However, at this point, it's just an excuse for me to get drunk. You know, if you stopped stressing about it so much, you might actually enjoy finding someone. <laughs> Exactly. I'm not stressing about it. Yeah. I just know that grandfather would rather see me dead than happy. Our grandfather will be dead in a week. Are you really gonna let that oh. stop you? <laughs> uh, a lot of there is actually some gas like it's the surrounding people. It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't I'm mean kidding. we're going to do any of that. Oh, I'm, I kid, I kid. I saw him running this morning in incredible shape. 
<laughs> so incredible. Yeah, Brisbane will give a, a, a covered smirk as he goes to like pretend to itch his nose. I'm not stressed. It's not even the fact that my lover would be in band. It's the fact that nobility in the Commonwealth shouldn't intermingle. So should I find someone in the Commonwealth that my heart has fallen for, it would look bad for us. I mean, we're about to go to a wedding hosted by the Queen herself. I'm sure there'll be a lot of, a lot of eligible bachelors there. I think our cousin is right. I mean, you worry so much about falling for the wrong person. Who knows? Maybe you'll be gonna, you'll be lucky and you'll fall for the right one. I mean, grandfather picked me out a wonderful earl. He's maybe quite older than me, but that's fine. Yeah, grandfather would pick me out a woman too if he had his way. No, I have a I have a guy. <laughs> An earl. <laughs> so maybe grandpa's a little bit more open white. Yeah. yeah. I'm still gonna murder him. You should not say those things. He is the head of this house, by the way. Yeah, yeah, don't speak ill of the head of the house. I've heard it all before. Well, I love our little lunches. They're always so festive. I know, right? On to you, dear cousin. Mm. Do you plan on restoring your house? Little impossible. Nothing is nigh on impossible if you have the correct resources. I'll be taking and the, the right name. attitude. I'll be taking the name <laughs> of my dear Earl. And that will be the end of my house. As it should be. Are you truly satisfied with that? Yes. And yet you fought tooth and nail to live. Okay, then. <laughs> Just like how? Mm -hmm. This food the weather is today. I, wonderful I mean, weather. Summer. Love the sun. <laughs> it's surprisingly <laughs> cool today, isn't it? I'll stand up. I'll begin packing. It's a long trip, and we'll, it sounds like we'll be there for a while. I suggest you all do the same. Walk out of the room. <laughs> uh, as you walk, a, a purple dragon does follow you. Because yeah. <laughs> even though you are a member of this house, you are still a ward and a uh, banished house. So you are always under watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Huh, so this is like my last day here then, huh? It does seem that way. Have you already started packing, brother? Uh, Be honest, shaking his head no. Rodeo. <laughs> this is Zacharias we're talking about. Oh! Hey, I, I could have done a little packing. Have you? Of course. Uh, Cody here is telepathically no. <laughs> Got a response. Of course. <laughs> Rethren is also vigorously Here shaking is his head no. <laughs> All due respect, I see your ward shaking his head. Yeah, he does that a lot. Almost as if he's that. trying to tell me you haven't done any packing. <sighs> I've done a little. <laughs> Podio, is that true? Be honest. I believe my brother. If he said he's done some packing, I'm sure he has. And in his mind, Sakaris will hear bullshit. <laughs> I'm 
Yes, you are good liars, but you're still my brothers. Oh. <laughs> That's code for he loves us. He really does. What a softy. I want you to care about you as my brothers, which is why I'm telling you to go pack. Uh, fine. And in his hand, Sakura, in his head, Sakura will hear. Maybe if you get your packing done, you can convince your ring ring to let you have some fun before leaving. Uh, you'll hear a response. That's what I'm thinking. I really want to say goodbye to my friends. I that I also haven't seen in three years. Get packing. I'm sure you can convince him. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go continue packing. You're going to start. Yes, like I said, continue. Uh, I bid you all adieu. Uh, as you go to stand up, uh, Rithwin uh, almost knowingly like pulls your chair out. Like to help you up, not to like pull you out to make you fall. Yeah. Rithwin, you are going to May I have a word with you for a moment? Uh, he... Oh, shit. Oh, hmm. Head of how... Oh. He, he, uh, he'll look I'm to Zacharias and be like, Yeah, my lord, is this okay? Uh, yeah, totally fine. <laughs> Just my I mean, eldest sibling, you know, MBD. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you'll find me one way or another, so. I I will. Like the other several times this has happened. Yeah, yeah. Zacharias, you will hold. Oh, I guess I hold, hold your Oh. <laughs> my young lord, please. Not time to just. Fine, fine. I'm going. I'm going. What? That's oh, not holding. Hold here, <laughs> that is that not is... a question. It's the opposite of a hold. Oh, you so much to learn. You, I must. Uh, if I were to speak openly, you all are too easy on the on my young lord. But yes, how can I be a service towards you, Leech? I have a request of you for tonight. Allow Zacharias to go see his friends before he leaves. I give a wide eye look at you like, did you just say that? <laughs> Allow him at least one night of respite before he's subjugated to endless torture in his own mind. Marriage. The door here means marriage. Do I think of it as torture? I was thinking more the life of a proper noble. I... I must... I would love to watch my young lord become a proper noble, but... I will always be behind his coattails, and my children afterwards. Hopefully, maybe not. I don't plan to have children. But, uh, sure, I knew the young lord planned to, uh, leave. Uh, then it's huh? no longer a request. I order you to allow him to see his friends. My leash. Thank you for the gracious order, but at the end of the day, I am bound to my lady my countess but i will have no problem as long as my young lord is a respectful young man and does not do anything to ruin the integrity that he has held for the past three years right no bar yes. fights no getting arrested I, please. I have done neither You just Only a wisdom save really quickly. Stare. 
Yeah. That's Sarah of uh, Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, Zacharias, yeah. roll me a wisdom save really quickly. Wisdom save, okay. Uh, good thing I have advantage. <laughs> nice. Oh, you still failed by one. <laughs> you know? Um, have you ever had a bar fight or ever been arrested? Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Rithrin nods. Uh, you do feel as uh, if someone's probing your mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crazy how your your ward always knows where you will be. Yeah, well, uh, this has been fun. I should probably get packing. As should I. I'll need to pack for travel to the warehouse as well. well since my young lord is not going to need my help, uh, he'll turn and look over to uh, you, Cody. He's like, Perhaps I could uh, lend you a hand. Yeah. Well, yeah, he'll give him a nod and a small smile. I appreciate that, the help, Riverine. Thank you. Uh, my young lord, my leash, uh, I bid you a great night. Yeah, he kind of follows behind... Uh, Cody, his face has completely changed. Very happy to be following someone who would be a proper lord. <laughs> a proper <laughs> it is so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> There's a little pep in his step. Uh, no. Hastily opens a door. Sometimes doesn't even open the door for Zacharias anymore. It's like, oh, well, me. He'll give him a little nod and grow and go through the door. And yes, uh, as everyone leaves, uh, Franz, uh, your gentleman in waiting, uh, walks up next to you, uh, Seth, and is like, My leash, uh, how was the dinner? The dinner was lovely as always at least the food was i've never been one for conversation shall i pack your bags i can pack them myself you also don't need to be so formal with me when it's just the two of us uh. you're allowed to call me by name he looks around uh, quickly, like surveilling the area. Uh, his shoulders relaxed a little bit more, and he's like, Yes, Seth, I do my best to keep up appearances, as always. Um, I'm aware. I only suggest to pack your belongings in case you wish to... partake in the hospitalities of the uh simple life simple life i hope you don't mind my asking for clarification if you wish to hmm. uh, well i guess it's just me and you if you wish to you know hang around with the the commoners People do love you. They love me for the image of me. I'm not sure they love my actual self. I'm very straightforward. Which to some is not endearing. Well, Seth, I must say... I have a few little birds in town, and they say quite the difference. The town 
enjoy having someone as they say not so bland <laughs> so i have character to the townspeople do i yes i mean yes. this town itself has been under a firm rule of the lords of house mentrum yeah i'm Breath of fresh air, that's a good word. I don't think that nobility should hold all the power to make choices for the people that rule them. I think they... that the people should be allowed to choose for themselves. This is your land. Well, this is your grandfather's land, but soon, soon will be your land. And you can do as you see these fits. You will be the, the ruler, the baronet of this land. All right. You've talked me into it. If you wouldn't mind packing my bags, I'll go enjoy a night on the town. Uh, yes, only the best for you. Thank you. Frond. Oh my god, I almost forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, Franz does uh, quickly hurry off in uh, the direction. Um, but as you are heading out, uh, Joffrey stops you again. Joffrey, my liege. have my apologies for my earlier outburst. Uh, I fully understand it is not the easiest for you. It is. Uh, but what do you need of me? Your grandfather has requested you to his chambers. I understand. I will be there post haste. Thank you, Joffrey. Please. Kind of scurries off like a little rodent. On my way there, I'm going to knock on Zacharias's door. <laughs> oh? Uh, yeah? Oi, you, me, night on the town. <gasps> uh... Sure, I can make up a disguise for you, too. We won't need a disguise. For, we have but, the leave of your guard. Yeah, but they... My friends, they don't know what I really look like. Well, your friends have also never met me, so... Oh, uh, you know what? Fair, fair. I don't need a disguise. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. I'll yeah, be no. by after speaking with Grandfather. Cool. I swear I'm working on packing right now. <laughs> I open the door. <laughs> he, you see Zach furiously packing stuff. There is no order or method to oi, any of it. Oi, 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 <laughs> slow down. What? What? You need what? to put some thought into this. You can't just be packing all willy-nilly. I mean, what? How about this? I'll help you after I'm done speaking with Grandfather, and then we'll go for our night on the town. Okay, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Close the door and go out to see Grandpa! Yes. Um, as you go off to see Grandpa, um, Doors open uh, as the guards open it for you. Uh, your grandfather sits uh, in the bed, a lot of pillows behind him, helping him sitting up. Beckons you over. You wish to see me, grandfather? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, pff, I forgot his voice. Russian, goodness gracious, I'm good at Russian accents. Why am I fucking this up? I almost said C, damn it. Okay, Grandpa's going to have to take a break for a second. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Seth. I understand, I mean, you do not see uh, eye to eye at all times. Some would say hardly ever. Yes. Well, 
I I am I am too old to keep ruling over this land. I think it is time. It, it's time for me to assume the role of head of House Mintra. The head and the title of Baronet. I understand. I will do my utmost to bring a continuing honor to the Mintra name. It is my duty after all. You wield your father's sword. It was one of the few things they managed to recover. Yes. I only wish the best and I I uh I hope you find someone uh that's Makes you happy. Thank you, Grandfather. And I know it is not your time yet, but when it is, may you find me that happy. Thank you. And yeah, you're able to leave now, becoming the new Baronet of Hilt. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm gonna drop back by Zacharias's room. Oh, hey. That was a quick talk. It was. I am now the official baronet. Really? No way. Yes. Oh, and congrats. Um, thank you. Let's get you packed properly. <laughs> yes, properly. <clears throat> As I start taking things out of his bag. <laughs> Is that like anything practical or useful? It's just clothes. <laughs> just ram clothes. There's some wigs. You don't know why there's wigs, but there's wigs. <laughs> This. We all know why there's things. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start by folding your clothes. We will put your wigs in intermittently, and then we will top you off with some soap. Yes. Cool. It's important that you stay clean. Of course, of course, I do. Hygiene's very important. Franz is taking care of my bags tonight. Oh, that's nice of him. He insisted <laughs> I go out for a night on the town. <laughs> well, glad he insisted. You're going to have fun. <laughs> yes. We're going to have fun. Now, let's get you ready. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> the pans over to uh, the bedroom of Kodio. Here's my bedroom. Yes. As uh, Rithrin uh, eagerly is uh, ready to help you pack. Okay. I am the complete opposite of his brother. This, I imagine, I imagine Kodio kind of already had all his clothes folded and was ready to start packing. He's gonna look at Riffrin. Any advice? This will be our first time meeting the Countess and I wanna make him a good impression. Mm. Yes, uh, my Countess, uh, she's... She's... Uh... In court, she's very, uh, countess-like. Uh, out of court, she's much like Zacharias. I just, 
haven't told him because I'm like, oh, that's the last thing that he needs. That's to know that they're almost two peas in a pod. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, that's why I'm actually kind of glad you allowed me to help you. It'd be quite nice to actually help a... I don't want to use the word true noble, but those are the only words that are coming to my head. I, I don't know how he works. My brain, it does not understand. It's okay, refrain. I understand that your hands are already full with my brother. I can't imagine what he's gonna be like in the city. And I want to thank to thank you, actually. Before you came along, I was the one constantly following him, making sure he didn't get into too much trouble. And it's nice to know there's someone else looking out for him. Yes, he is quite the sneaky one. <laughs> but I am very fond of him. Oh, that is the Karayus. He may give you a headache, a headache for a week, and yet you cannot find something endearing in his antics. Yes, yes. He kind of looks over to some of the books in your room. He's like, shall I pack some of the books for you? Yeah, I appreciate that. And Cody will also start packing, but he'll he'll ask him as they pack. So refrain. Yes. I've known you for three years, but as I think about it, there's not not a lot I know about you. How long have you been with the Countess and her family? My entire life. My mother... Um, she is one of the Countess's uh, servants, and as you can tell, as he points to uh, his ears, uh, an elf stumbled along and where blah 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 things happened and I am now a bastard child. Hence why I have the last name of dragons. It must be hard, but I mean you're here now. Personal bodyguard to the Countess's fiancé. Your mother must be proud of you. Uh, he kind of looks down. Uh, my mother, uh, she passed uh, some years ago. I don't like talking about my age much. Uh, now that Rithrin is more uh, in focus, uh, Rithrin is quite fair in appearance, uh, having blonde hair and dark amber eyes, constantly wears uh, his normal leather armor, and always has his longbow attached to him. Hearing that about his mother, Cody is going to go to kind of, you know, um, rub his shoulder, but he's going to stop because, you know, protocol and the noblehood and such and said he's gonna say I'm sorry about your mother I know loss of a parent can be quite hard uh, he nods thank you I mean I know your mother uh, after your youngest, if I remember right, passed away due to an uh, illness. Yeah, it was hard times for the family, but at least we always had each other. Well, uh, 
Perhaps one day. I don't really know a lot about you. I know... Some things. I was tasked by my countess uh, personally to be uh, Zacharias's uh, guard, mostly because I am adept at uh, people's mind. I do have. I'm I'm gifted. I'm able to hear the thoughts of others and then occasionally pry deeper. Uh, but it normally alerts them. But as long as they don't know it's me doing it, then they will never know. Have you ever pried into my mind? No. Uh, I am I respectful. I only... In my entire three years of being here, I've only dived deeper into Kodio's... Um, fuck. Zacharias is mine. Uh, three times. Uh, one of those times being tonight, just to make sure that my young lord has never been in a bar fight or arrested, which would be very confusing. Definitely wise decision. It it must be hard being this different. Mm. You two are quite different yourselves. I am. And I understand what it's like to have a, a gift with the mind, one that maybe you don't fully understand. I mean, you are the uh, the gifted, after all. And the First Order, so... Oh! My my lady, she is also a war wizard of the First Order. She, she, she is also gifted? Yes, very gifted. Uh, she is gifted in the art of... The winds? And I guess that makes you gifted too. Oh. Uh, slightly. Not as. Not gifted like you. No. Or her. She's. She's fought hard for her title. I mean. What, four years ago, she was just the countess of a small house. Well, not a small house. She's a quite big house, but she has no siblings or parents that I know of. But um, when the queen took the throne, uh, they removed the, uh, what was he called? Uh, the king's lord and replaced it with the queen's lady. And that's when she got her promotion. She cares a lot about uh, the magic users of the world and how they're treated. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad, mostly. You know my sister, she's gifted like a uh, sand. I worry sometimes, but I'm glad that she's under, under the Countess's service. I hope she's doing all right. Knowing my countess, uh, she definitely. Now that I'm thinking, I don't think she's ever taken a student before. Yes, no, definitely she, not. She's never taken a student. My sister, she's quite gifted. Mm. Well. I'm sure that you cannot wait to see her again. Yeah, it's gonna be nice seeing her again, making sure she's all right. And it feels like everybody's starting a new life quite soon. Things have been changing so fast lately. 
I hope you don't mind me asking, but what have you considered for your future? Oh, my future is to, I guess, serve as my lord's guard. Well, I guess when he marries, I'll be his gentleman in waiting then. Other than that, I haven't thought of it. I don't wish to really bear any children, but if it happens, it happens. I'm not the most let's just say the chances of me having a siring a child would be slim to none. If it happens, it happens. I had never struck me before, Wolverine, as somebody who is so lax. I must say, my lord, has had a small effect on me. I see. You're willing to have a little more fun. I mean, that's part of Gordio's charm. Sakurayos, now I did it too. You got me, bro. You got me. Hey, 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 hey. I heard Sky do it to you. We're, We're all gonna make it so far. We're gonna all make one mistake. We just gotta get Sakurayos. Okay, but at least you guys are actually twins this time, so it like makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's fair. We're, we're, this is what we did it, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Twist, it's a real different excuse. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean that person. Yes. Well, uh, yeah. uh, well, I'm sure my lore will, dear, I've just thought about if they both have children. Well, hopefully the apple falls far from the tree. Very far. Please, Miles. I, I, I can't have another one. Sorry, what is this out of character? What what is going on? I, what is this oh, he's saying if if there? Zach if Zacharias has a kid with the with the countess that the kid is nothing like either one of them. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You're gonna kind of give him a smile. Well, one can only hope and pray. I will pray. I will pray countless nights, as many nights as it takes. I. Both of them I have grown very fond of. I love them each in a uh, platonic way. But to heavens. God, I could only imagine. If you don't another... mind me asking, hmm? have you ever considered doing anything else? Uh, no, I mean, my countess has always treated me so nice. I, yeah, I don't really know what would happen. I know I will probably outlive both of them. So I'm not much, I'm sure, well, since I'm an elf, I'll outlive, well, half elf, I'll outlive most of you. But, God, I just thought about it now. If they have a child, I'll probably still be watching over that child. Okay, well, can I push that out of my head? But no, um, I mean, my countess has offered me the option to leave whenever I feel fit. I've served her countlessly for a period of time, and I just haven't found a reason. Cody will give him a smile, and now he'll slowly and lightly just kind of put a hand over his shoulder. Well, I feel quite fortunate that you'll be watching over my brother. I know it won't be easy or pleasant most of the time. It feels good knowing that. 
will have someone there for him when I can't. Sure. I mean... You could always visit. I guess I could, but... <sighs> we'll be starting in your life and, uh, well, I don't know how much the unmarried Feridian line is gonna be pleasant to have around, or for how long. Well... Hopefully, everything works out. How likely do you think is our odds of surviving this wedding? Surviving as in, I hope a hundred percent. I hope there's this is not a red wedding. No, I mean, I seen everything going as planned. No. Oh. Hmm. I give it uh, 95%. You can never be 100% when... I probably shouldn't even say 95%. I'll say 90%. 5% will be for either one of them to do something crazy, and then another 5 in case there's another type of crazy outburst, not including them. Well, I guess I like those thoughts. I I have a feeling in my heart. I feel like on the night or the morning, no, the morning of the wedding, I'm going to go check on my young lord and he won't be there. Uh, I'll have to go look for him and we'll have to hold the wedding. Or my lady will go missing. It just about this i will keep an eye on my brother and you can keep an eye on the bride mm. deal the elden with ring dragons i i don't like that with ring the gift that sounds much better my lord thank you yep, and he will give him a smile and continue backing yeah, the camera will pan over to our youngest, well, not youngest. Well, yeah, yeah, you are the youngest lord, technically. Yeah. <laughs> I have finished packing already. I was, I was like, almost fully packed already. I just added another box to the very large pile of boxes. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, there is a knock at your door. Come in. Yes. Uh, stumbling in comes our dear friend Joffrey. Oh, Joffrey. Yes. Greetings. Uh, I sent a message to uh, Cedric. You said that? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, I did get a reply, but it was not very good. Uh, it seems he has passed away. What? I, yes, there is a 5% chance that, you know, that I wouldn't have sent the message, but uh, it seems, yes, uh, he was... As I've reached out to his, his heir, his father was uh, murdered what? about four years ago gonna make the sign of Lathander's prayer. <sighs> it is horrible to hear. Yes, blessing of Lathander upon that poor soul. But uh, it seems uh, our dear friend Renard is a privateer now. Uh, sometimes serves under Cormier, sometimes uh, serves under himself. But he uh, does not want him coming to give you a lift, as we would say. Well, I think that might be our best chance, then. Ooh. 
Well, I will let him know. Um, Please send him my regards as well. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, he... He did ask something uh, that I... I... I myself do not know if I should ask. It deals with your past. I give you permission. Yes. Uh, it seems as if the house uh, belief has some people in Cormier now. Uh, it seems like their family is now Cormarian in some regard. Uh, he wishes to speak with you privately about this. Very well. I will add the note in there and I will delete it from the histories. Thank you. Mm. And thank you for all that you've done while I've been here. Uh, anything for the family. You all come first. Even cousins. I'll give him a little head bow. Yes. Uh, he'll bow even deeper uh, and skit back very quickly. Mm -hmm. You're left alone in your room with your thoughts. A guard on the outside of your door. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to um, slowly pack up the rest of my belongings. Um, and sit down and send a prayer up to my god. Mm. Perfect. Um, thankfully for speed, the a night goes uneventful for our two heroes adventuring out. Nothing ill happens. Roll for bar fight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I pre rolled all this. Anything Seth would be the one to start a bar fight. <laughs> the new Baron. The, the new Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yes, between Jay and myself, I am more likely to start a bar fight. <laughs> <I'll> see. <laughs> Yes, but everything goes uneventful. Uh, you all eventually wind up at your beds. You all get the benefits of a long rest. But as you all get the benefits of a long rest, I will ask our new baronet to go ahead and roll me 74. Yes. Was 74? Yes, 74. We got. Um, oh, lots one. of ones. A lot, a lot of, ones. of ones. Okay. <laughs> like four ones. One, three, and two twos. Not a great and start to the berry. <laughs> I will need our. A soon to be count to go ahead and roll 11d8 plus 11. Eleven D eight plus 11. Fifty-four. Okay. All right. So, 54. Do, 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 do. As I'm going to go ahead and begin your processing of your guys' monthly things. All right. So one gold. And that would be eight copper for taxes. 
And then 54 times 0 0.3. One gold. Six silver pieces. And two copper pieces. For your restocking fees. To keep all of your shelves stocked at your winery. And then 14 gold for your employees. That will leave you guys with... Let me pull up my calculator. 54 minus 1.08 minus 1.62 minus 14. That will leave you guys with a grand total of... 37 gold and 3 silver added to your family's coffers, which brings your guys' grand total to 37 point, whoops, plus 37.3 to 1,195 gold and 3 silver. Silver. What band? I spelled silver wrong. I wrote sliver. <laughs> yes. And each of you have a um a little uh what would you call it? Uh pouch, yeah. You each of you have a pouch that um it's pretty much like a personal bank attached to your hip. Mm -hmm. Uh you can only you put in a sheet of paper, you write the amount of money you would like to take out, and then you sign your name, you press your seal on it, and then you put it into the pouch, and then the pouch will fill with the amount of money that you requested. Okay. Yes. Uh, each of you have that, as each of you in your own way has helped the wineries perform their duties, so... And you're, you know, the owner is pretty much of it. <laughs> but yes. So at the end of each long rest, our players get to get uh, money. They're nobles. They're not out here going to be doing side quests to earn coin. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> but as the morning comes... The sounds of bells ring through the town. Uh, sounds of bells that you've heard before. For most of you, you've heard twice in your lifetime. The sounds of morning bells. Not mourning as the morning, but mourning yeah, after yeah. someone died. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just wanted to clarify. <laughs> I was a little like, oh no, they might think morning and be like, oh, it's the morning. Cool, cool, cool. Why have we only heard this twice in our life? <laughs> There's only been two <laughs> dawns. <laughs> you live in Dallas. Dander. Yeah, well, Dander really sucks at his job. <laughs> but yes. The bells tolled. And he has me now. Yes. You all know what this must mean. Our dearly departed Theo has left this world. Oh. Go into the main Is there like in karma like a color of morning? Not morning like morning, but you, you get it. <laughs> it <was> like a... <laughs> Uh, most people do tend to wear just, it's like ours, black. A lot of the townsfolk will do it. Uh, the family, it's up to you guys. You could either wear your family colors or you could wear black. Whatever you see is more fitted to you. No one would be like, hey, you're not wearing black, you're an asshole. Most people don't wear really bright colors, I'll say that. 
Go you go to what we're black. Like all black. Okay. We'll put on priestly robes and vestments. Seth will wear their family's colors. No. <laughs> the previous baronet to the past now. I still have not figured out when your guy's dad has died. <laughs> I guess I could just do the math. Uh, yeah. All right, and he lived to like thirty-one or thirty-two. Yeah, your guy's dad did not die. An old man. <laughs> oh, I think he. Did. So he's like thirty. He probably died before his forties. Yes, taken at the ripe young age. Oh, I made your guys' grandpa live very long. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> he was yeah, barely hanging out there. <laughs> I, my math might be wrong. It looks like a grandpa. I'll figure it out later. That's that's for that's for <laughs> later stuff for my brain too tired. But yes, um as you guys walk the halls, um Pictures have been put up of your grandfather, uh, which now say the Lord Theo, uh, the horse master, first of his name, previous baronet of health, help, uh, defender of Suzale and the realm, and a lionar of the purple dragons. which is a very high rank in the Purple Dragons. Your grandfather was one of the few who stayed in for a little bit longer than what he totally needed to be. <laughs> of course, Kadeed. Yeah. Represent the family, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he really tried to repair things before he died. <laughs> well. I'll uh, kind of post up at the entrance to the home and, like, any visitors... I'll be greeting. Yeah. Uh, a few townsfolk uh, do stop by to pay, like, their respects to the family. I mean, it is a sad day. Oh. But Joffrey does appear behind each of you, uh, saying, well, uh, tis the saddest day, but you all must be off to, um, uh, Emercy, em Emercy, the city above us. That is where you'll be picked up by Captain Renard uh, on the broken sail. At the hearing the name of the, the boat, I just like roll my eyes. <laughs> Could have picked a better name. Sorry. What is Next the name step. of the boat? Uh, the broken sail. Why are we sailing on a ship called the Broken Sail? I like it. It has character. Uh, it's... Uh, I... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it was, I, I didn't ask questions. I was just like, oh, thank you. I didn't think to be like, oh, hey, why is it so Well, could be worse. Could be the drowned ship. What? But with the broken <laughs> sail, we're better off dead. Yeah, I, just... I, won't see, I think it's just a name. <laughs> yeah. Either way, understood. Thank you, Joffrey. Uh, well, well, please. Continue to report any findings to me. Always. I will. Uh, uh, so he begins to write your name on a uh, page, which, as you look at it, it has your father's name, your grandfather's name, and now yours. The baronets, I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a specialized page for them. Uh, 
I normally do delete everything that is stored here for the privacy of the family. I understand. Hmm. Well, um, we do have a carriage ready if each of you have your stuff packed. Yes. Are we all packed? Yes. Yes. I had an excellent helper last night. He gives a nice smile. Oh. It's out of character. Like, is Franz here? Yeah, Franz is standing probably there. Yeah, yeah. Your servant, uh, your gentleman in waiting will be attempting with you. Perfect. So, do we have like a big ass carriage or is it like multiple oh, carriages? <laughs> The carriages come around. Uh, there is uh, seven carriages. <clears throat> yes. Uh, one appears to be more of like a wagon base, which uh, probably is all of your stuff is going to go. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the Baronet will have his the, the best carriage. <laughs> Uh, and then the second best would go to second horn. Uh, it seems uh, the only person whose carriage is probably like super not well is going to be my dear cousin. It's yeah. a still a normally is a, a very nice carriage. Commoners would stare. Yeah, yeah. But looking at the others, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Without hesitation, not even like regarding it, I just go to it. Yeah. Uh, but there is a carriage. Yeah, so a pure carriage for each of you. Could Cody maybe ride with his brother? Yeah. Well, his twin? Oh, uh, yeah, it's up to you. Ah, oh, yeah. And Cody will go to the cousin. Because I'm right, I'm cousin now. Shall we be riding with Sakurai so you can take a carriage if you'd like? That's very thoughtful of you. I'll take you up on that offer, thank you. You can give him a smile and say, of course, you're also my brother. And he's gonna go to Sakurai Oh, sweet. Oh. Yes. Yes, each of you, uh, well, two of you board together. Uh, Franz boards the fifth carriage, uh, as well as some oh, other Franz servants. Franz riding with me. Uh, <laughs> Franz looks over to you like, Baronet, it would be an honor to ride with you, but if you insist, I will. I insist, Franz. As you whisper in that. Yeah, I will uh, move over. Uh, Rithrin does not uh, sit in the carriage with um, our young lord, yes. It seems the servants kind of have their own personal carriage. Well, not their personal, but a servant carriage. Which is, that one is actually kind of bigger out of the rest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like a wagon carriage, like yeah, it's more well, yeah. It still looks nice. But I will need our uh, third oldest. Well, the only true born, sorry. Uh, to roll me a 1d10. Is that me? That is she. Yes, yes, yes. What? The, what, the only true born? That's what you said? Well, because uh, technically, we, you could argue that the youngest would be <clears throat> Christoph, but Christoph is not a, a true member of the family. Yeah. <laughs> Go to his. Um, 10 to 10, what did you say? Uh, yes, 1d10. 1d10, I was like, 10 to 10, fun. <laughs> God. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no. Ancient Red uh, Dragon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> accompanying you all are uh, ten additional guards. Uh, blades. 
as they're called over here. And then I need a 1d4 from our dear Christoph. A 1d4, bam, a 3. A 3, okay. I'll save that for later. <laughs> I trust you when you say that. Yeah. You shouldn't. <laughs> Fucking never trust your DM when they say I'll save that for later. Take that as a lesson, children. Don't trust uh, your DM when they say I'll save it for later. Okay, keep it in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just and Cody writing alone? Like, is there anybody else with them, or is it just the two of them? Uh, it would just be the two of you inside your car. Okay. Yeah. Thankfully, I mean, no one really bats an eye. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, you all begin to take off, and uh, that is where we'll have to end our session. <gasps> what? As we will begin our next session, I'll go ahead and move you guys on the map. Mm -hmm. So you can... The, the Cormirian map. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and grab... Look at all those hexagons. <laughs> I'm looking through weird. chicken wire. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes, you guys are this beautiful little triangle. And you guys are headed to Emerson. Uh, thankfully enough, it, it was only going to take you... Oh no, I didn't fix the cameras. Huh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah. also, I think I'm Jay. Yeah. I think I'm Jay, but that's fine. We're twins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me find out. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> We're twins. Fine. We're twins. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm Jay. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yeah. No, totally oh. messed that one up. <laughs> I like it. I like promoting Jay. <laughs> yes. Uh, it will take you guys roughly to get to Emerson. Um, it'll take you 16 hours. So it looks like there will be a uh, pit stop. Well, you guys are leaving early in the morning. There probably will not be a pit stop. It looks like it'll be one continuous ride. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there'll be pit stops for, like, bathroom breaks, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, the horses, you guys can't just... I mean, you could push your horses, but that's really mean. <laughs> yeah, but... 17 hours in a very not uh, just open stable the door. carriage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. But yes, uh, thank you to all who have uh, came out. It means the world to us. <laughs> who is Be alive? sure to check out all of our socials oh, yes. linked down below. Our Patreon is set up, so if you guys like us and want to continue to support us, or if you can't afford a subscription here on Twitch, feel free to drop a sub over on our Patreon. And we will be updating our Patreon. <laughs> a lot of Lords and Ladies stuff. Also, thank you, Wolfric the Wanderer, for the follow. Uh, Rhetorical Blade for the follow. Uh, Sky for the resub. Bro for the resub. Holy Knight of Smite for the follow. Simon Treegrath for the follow. Rill Crag for the follow. And I don't know if Bro's already done this one, but Stella Clustmurster no. for the follow. Yes, thank you all <laughs> so much. Thank you so, so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, Saturdays be rough, so I'd be forgetting to be like, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> just be like, oh, well, we'll get them one day. <laughs> we got you back. Yes. Um, well, we will be here tomorrow mm -hmm. for our Mordant game. And then we'll be here next Friday for the continuation as our lovely nobles are heading off to... Uh, 
go see the world. Hopefully, build nothing bad happens. Will the wedding go okay? Are we all gonna die? Find out <laughs> next week. Well, it's wow. twenty weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah, to get to what it's. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, you gotta get pass through that town. Yeah, it'll it'll take you guys almost, I think, a week to get there. <laughs> We're gonna arrive just for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally, it's a straight shot. Look at that. Nope, you guys gotta go this long route. But thankfully, it's boats, so you can push them hard, and they will not. Wait, get... Is this a rom com now? Are we having a <laughs> rom com? <laughs> maybe. So or of maybe? course, like the cousin is gonna get up with the pirate, duh. And... Anyways, we're headed out, guys. Thank you again so much. Yeah. Uh, should we read our friend Starlet? Ah, uh, we're gonna oh, do I that. The raid. Cause yeah. Oh. Cause. Oh, right. Sky got it, so we're gonna raid them. Thank you, everyone who came out, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.